What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In this video, we're going to turn a box truck cutaway van into a self-sustainable tiny home. This is a 2002 GMC Savannah 3500 cutaway van. It has a 5.7 liter Chevy 350 gasoline powered engine. I wanted to build a box truck instead of a van for the extra living space. The box part of this truck measures 8 feet wide by 12 feet in length. I made a quick sketch of everything I wanted to incorporate into this build. I started at the roof. I applied four coats of roof coating to help seal and add some protection from the elements. I cut two holes in the roof. One for my Max Air vent fan. and the other for a custom window made of plexiglass. Next I unboxed three 100 watt solar panels and installed them on the roof. I insulated my ceiling with foam board insulation about a half an inch thick. Then I installed my white paneling ceiling and framed out my shower. I used FRP adhesive and vinyl flooring for the walls. I framed out this section for all my electrical components. I laid down my floor using self-adhesive vinyl tiles. I cut two holes for windows and framed the walls with 2x4s. Then I used the same insulation that I used in the ceiling for the walls. I cut all the paneling that I needed and painted them before installing them. Next I framed out the components for my Murphy bed setup. I used 1x8s for the bed frame. I used 2x12s for the outer frame and made it as large as I could. This large metal storage box was repainted and used as the base for this project. Using these seat swivels, I mounted the bed frame into the outer frame. I used a 30 gallon fresh water tank and a 21 gallon gray water tank just for the shower water. This is how my gray water tank is set up directly underneath my shower. And this is my fresh water tank set up located behind my left rear tire. All of the PEX pipe was ran. The shower lines were installed. The water pump and filter system. I installed the water heater. Whitewash brick wallpaper for the kitchen area. Finally, the windows. As well as the hot water heater exhaust. I installed an RV style latch with deadbolt and painted the main door gray. I finished securing the box by adding latches to the rear doors. I installed a 30 amp outlet for shore power. Found these shutters, so painted them gray and completed my electrical cabinet. Forty amp solar charge controller, fifteen hundred watt inverter, 
and a 200 amp hour battery mounted just below. Next I framed out my kitchen area. Slapped up some paneling and made two doors to complete it. I built the storage cabinet for the other side as well as a shelf. I made some custom countertops and finished the kitchen complete with an undermount sink. Also finishing the storage cabinet on the other side. This is a storage box I built. It is also a lift top table. And finally onto the exterior for some bodywork before paint. And the box was born. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you around. And as always, going for a car ride.